Hello everybody, my name is Elena and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Please definitely consider subscribing and like this video if you enjoy it. For today's video, we are going to be doing a look with the new Juvia's Place Lahala palette. Now this palette was um, released as a limited edition palette, so I do believe that it is sold out right now, unfortunately. So. I'm not sure if they're restocking this. I sure hope that they do for those of you who didn't get to get their hands on it. But this palette is beautiful. As you can see here is the color story. Now I am not going to do swatches because I personally do not like swatches. I feel like they don't really do justice of the shadows. Juvia's Place shadows are really, really good though. In general, I'm sure you can find another video of somebody using this palette and they did swatches. But today we're going to be doing a look with this palette and I'm going to talk a little bit about the palette. I did try to use um, some of the shades yesterday and I can talk about the pressed glitter in here that I tried to use. Um, so this is gonna be like a first impressions and a look. But without further ado, let's just get into it so I can stop talking your ear off. All right, hi guys, we are up close and personal now, so we are ready to go. I did my base off camera before I started filming just so that I didn't um, take any time away from the palette. So we are going to start. My eyes are primed with concealer. I always prime with Juvia's Place Eye and Magic Concealer in the shade 19. I still have a little bit of the blue speckles on my eyelid from yesterday when I tried using that shade. Um, so that shade is like super crumbly. I don't know if it was just me, but it was just really hard to work with. Maybe it was the brush that I used. So I definitely want to give it another chance, but we are going to start. So first I'm going to take a Luxie brush. This is the number 229 tapered blending brush, and I'm going to pick up BU, which is this shade right here, and I'm going to work on to my outer V. I may just put it all over the lid because I do want to cut my crease. Now Juvia's Place shadows are super pigmented. I have a bunch of their palettes and I've never had an issue with any of their shades. I believe this is the first palette that features pressed glitters. And um, I don't know how I feel about pressed glitters exactly because um, I had a little bit of issue with the pressed glitter that was in this palette. So I don't know if they're exactly my favorite. So I prefer like pressed pigments, you know, or just shimmers, which I don't really know if shimmers are pressed glit gli gli words. I don't know if shimmers are considered pressed pigments. I don't really know what they are, but Juvia's Place shimmers are amazing and they perform really, really well. So. So I'm just packing this shade and then blending it out. And it's working very well. Um, when it comes to Juvia's Place shadows, especially their mattes, they're super pigmented and really blendable, easy to work with shades. So I've never ever had any issues with Juvia's Place mattes. So that looks pretty good. Blends out super easy, so I'm very happy about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then I will be right back. All right, so off camera, I packed a little bit more of the color and blended it out just to make it a little bit more darker. And it looks pretty good in my opinion. So now we're going to continue. I want to add a little bit of depth to this look. So I'm going to dip into um, Sis, which is this black shade right here, and I'm going to lightly tap into it because when it comes with to blacks, it's so easy to mess up a look. So I'm going to lightly pack on it. There's only a little bit there. Tap it off and just place it in the outer V. Tap it there. Because I'm going to use a blending brush to kind of blend it into the crease. Or maybe I can use this one. Okay, now the 
that the black is where I want it to be, I am going to take that same um, Luxie brush. Oh, by the way, the brush that I used for the black is a Royal and Lagnico Moda Pro brush. It's the BMX 420 detailed brush. I love this brush for highlighting the inner corner or doing the tight line because it's like really pointy, if you can see that. So I'm dipping back into BU and I'm just going to blend out that black shade in the crease. I'm not a pro by any means. I know I say that a lot if you watch me often, but I just, I feel like I have to say that because I feel like some people um, expect way too much of people on YouTube. Like not all of us are like super good at makeup. We're just on here because it's a, a fun past timing or we just simply love makeup. I mean, the more we practice, the better we get at it, right? So that is why I'm here. So now I'm going to cut my crease, which I'm going to do off camera because it takes me a lot of time to do it and I don't want to bore you guys with that. Um, also saves me editing time if I don't leave that clip in there. So I'm going to cut my crease and then we'll come back. Alright, so after my cut crease is done and it's dried, we are good to go. So of course, I cut my crease with Juvia's Place Concealer number 19 again. And I use this brush, which is like a square type brush and it's from the Morphe. Um, all I want collection I believe it's perfect for cutting your crease at least for me it works super well so now I am going to pack a shimmer where I cut my crease I have like a couple of royal lightnical brushes um, and I think this is the one that I'm thinking of that is my favorite packing brush. This is the Revolution BX80 Royal and Lagnical. So it's a Royal and Lagnical brush. The line is Revolution and then it's the BX80, which you can buy um, individually. So the Moda Pro bro Bros, the Moda Pro brushes are its own um, line. So I'm going to spritz this with my continuous setting mist or what's left of it. I need to buy some more. And I am going to take stand up and I'm going to pack that all over where my cut crease is. Alright, so now that that is packed there, I'm going to do a little bit of like blending here because it kind of looks um, a little sharp, I think is the right word. I'm not exactly sure what word I'm looking for. Okay. So now that that's blended out, it looks way better than it did um, before I blended. So I'm happy about that. So now off camera, I'm going to put some mascara on. I don't think I'm going to do eyeliner. I think I'm going to leave it alone. And then we'll come back to do the tight line. So BRB. All right, so now that I have mascara on and a lip on, we can go ahead and do the tight line. So I'm going to use BU to tight line, which that was the first shade that we used all over our eyelids. And I'm going to use the uh, Moda Pro BMX 420 detailed brush that I was telling you guys about. All right, everybody, so here is the finished look. Let me know what you think down below. So now we're gonna talk about the palette. So um, I'm gonna talk about the shades that I used yesterday when I initially tried to um, do a look with this palette. So I used the shades Oversavi, which is this mustard shade, and I used Yanga. Um, now, Oversavi I had zero issues with. All of their mattes are amazing in this palette. They're pigmented and they blend very, very well. Um, Yanga, which is this beautiful pressed glitter shade, I had um, a little bit of issues with it because it was like super crumbly and I don't know if that was like the brush that I used or whatever the issue was. It probably was me. Maybe I just don't know how to work with pressed glitters, so I'm gonna definitely look up how I should be using pressed glitters. Um, but for today's look, we used um, BU and Stand Up. I also used Pride 
yesterday to, as a transition shade and it worked very very well because of course it's a matte um, so it's amazing um, but for today's look the mattes again it blended out very well it was super pigmented and it was easy to work with and then of course Juvia's Place shimmers they're amazing you don't have to do much with them they work you can use them dry and they're still pigmented but you do get way more payoff when you do wet your brush but of course you don't have to you just have to um, build it up if you choose not to wet your brush but overall I am happy with this palette I do think the colors are pretty I love the color story the only thing that I would probably do is use this as a companion palette I don't see myself using this alone because um, I don't have any transition shades or deepening shades I don't like to deepen up with black um, like for example with this look that we did today I would have preferred to use a darker shade similar to this to deepen it up instead of a black just because black is a little frightening sometimes because you can easily ruin a look um, if you use too much or if the black isn't blendable which you don't have that issue with Juvia's Place shadows so um, I don't remember how much this retailed for but I will put it on the screen I'm not sure if they're doing a restock I do hope that they um, do maybe if you are interested in getting this palette and they're never going to restock you can probably find somebody selling it I do know that some people were saying that the shades in here weren't pigmented I did not have that issue Juvia's Place shadows are super pigmented. They always have been. I have multiple palettes by them and I don't have any issues with any of the shades. Not mattes or shimmers. They're all amazing, gorgeous, super pigmented. Sometimes they don't swatch very well. So if I were you, I wouldn't rely on swatches because some shades just don't swatch well or maybe it was a terrible swatch that you saw. But anyway, I can say that I love this palette. I didn't have any issues with it. I would suggest that you just let the palette speak for itself, you know, don't really rely on everything that everybody is saying because I saw some people saying that they weren't going to purchase it because some people said that they weren't pigmented, um, but I didn't have that issue. They were pretty pigmented to me, so, um, but yeah, again, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like the video and comment down below anything, really. Um, I appreciate any interactions and I always respond, and I'll see you guys next time with another one. Bye.